The story of King Joash, Wash's story is primarily found in 2 Kings 11 to 12 and 2 Chronicles 22 to 24. He was a descendant of King David and ruled the kingdom of Judah. His life is marked by divine providence, reform, and tragedy. 1. Wash's miraculous survival. Family background. Joash was the son of King Ahaziah of Judah. When Ahaziah died, his mother, Queen Athaliah, seized power and began a violent purge, killing all potential heirs to the throne. Athaliah was a worshipper of Baal and sought to eliminate David's royal line. Rescue. Joash was saved as a baby by his aunt Jehosheba, who was married to the high priest Jehoiada. She hid him in the temple of God for six years, where he was secretly raised under the protection of Jehoiada. 2. Joash becomes king at age 7. When Joash was 7 years old, Jehoiada organized a coup against Queen Athaliah. Jehoiada gathered the priests, Levites, and military leaders to crown Joash as king in the temple. Athaliah was executed, and Joash was installed as the rightful king, restoring the Davidic lineage. 3. Wash's righteous reign under Jehoiada. Early reforms, with Jehoiada's guidance, Joash started his reign well. He led Judah in the worship of Yahweh and worked to repair the temple of God, which had been neglected and desecrated during Athaliah's reign. Temple repairs. Joash ordered collections from the people to fund the restoration of the temple. Skilled workers and priests worked diligently to restore it to its former glory. Faithfulness. As long as Jehoiada lived, Joash remained faithful to God and continued righteous reforms. 4. Wash's downfall after Jehoiada's death. After Jehoiada died at the age of 130, Joash began to stray from the faith. He listened to wicked advisers and turned to idol worship, abandoning the worship of Yahweh. Prophetic warnings. God sent prophets to call Joash and the people of Judah to repentance, but they were ignored. One of these prophets was Zechariah the son of Jehoiada. Zechariah's death. When Zechariah confronted Joash for his sin, Joash ordered his stoning in the temple courtyard. This act of betrayal against the family who had saved his life marked a turning point in his reign. 5. Wash's tragic end. Defeat by Arameans. God allowed the Arameans to invade Judah as punishment for Wash's sins. Although they were a small force, they inflicted heavy losses on Judah and Joash was severely wounded. Assassination. While recovering, Joash was assassinated by his own officials as retribution for his betrayal of Jehoiada's family. He was buried in Jerusalem, but not in the royal tombs a sign of disgrace. Wash's story is a cautionary tale about the importance of staying faithful to God and not relying solely on the influence of others for righteousness. His early reign under Jehoiada's guidance was marked by faithfulness and reform, but his later actions revealed the dangers of turning away from God's commands.